Look through the steamy window glass See how the tiny people pass Up and I don't like John Braden's 1969 self-titled LP because, well, I just don't, okay? I don't remember buying it. I don't know where I bought it. I didn't even know I owned it. I must have been in some kind of mood that day. That made me curious. Why would I have purchased it? Well, I do see that Bruce Langhorn plays on one track. Would I have bought it just for that reason? Yes. Yes, I would have. Also, Ry Cooter is on one song, and a couple of brothers from another flying burrito also appear. Anywho, I don't like it. You should take it off my hands for the price of media mail shipping. And hey, this installment of Worst Word Ho features an LP that sells for more than a dollar. But more importantly, the truth is, I own the wrong John Braden project. I wish I was instead hanging on desperately to his 1982 LP, Atari Asteroids. Nine-year-old me played that game endlessly. Or shit, how about his classic Yars Revenge album of the same year? Yars Revenge, Game of the Year award winner of 1982. Or his Pink Panther Punk album. Or his Masters of the Universe LP. Or his Knight Rider vinyl production. Basically, John Braden produced albums documenting many of my childhood distractions. Dang, John Braden, why is your folk album so bland? Folk. I used to have a big fine house. Lots of pretty clothes. 